look. Oh, that's a pretty picture. Okay, so today I am here with my Model S right here. It's Autopilot 1.0, delivered in June of 2016. And then over this shoulder, I have David's new Model S with Autopilot 2.0 and was just delivered, uh, what was that, four or five days ago? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the differences between the two. Uh, a couple of the differences have been added on since I picked up mine, but a couple are specific to the Autopilot 2.0 car. So first thing first is obviously gonna be the cameras. So over here, you can see, excuse it, it's a little dirty, it snowed here in Colorado. So you can see here that I only have one camera right here, and then I have my sensors and a couple other things around it. And then if we go to the new car, you can see there are three cameras here, and then all the sensors and everything are moved up above. <clears throat> also for cameras, um, I have on here, you can see my side turn signal right there is all turn signal around and even the T. Whereas over here on David's, let me adjust the brightness here. This is actually not a turn signal, neither is the T right here. The turn signal is this top part right there. And then here you have your rear facing side camera. And obviously on the B pillar, I have nothing right here no camera but on his you can see let's see if we can find a good angle for this so like right there you can see that camera that is a side facing camera in the B pillar it's a little forward angled but you can kind of see it right there and then on the rear cameras you can see mine, it's a little dirty. You can see mine here, a little sunny out. You can see mine right there. So there you can see like the side profile and everything. And then if we walk over to the Autopilot 2.0 car, you can see It is a little bit different. It no longer is in a full case. It kind of sticks out a little bit, you can see here. So it is definitely a different camera than on the other ones, which makes sense because now it is used in autopilot. <clears throat> and so that's kind of it for the actual cameras. Here's the other camera on the other side. Kind of see that there. I haven't tested to see if they're heated yet. We'll use the FLIR, turn the car on and see if it gets hot around that. But it kind of looks like it's we're surrounded by like some felt in there. So I don't know, they might be heated. It'd be nice if they were. And then we'll check these ones out again. So you can kind of see where they are in there. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, here's my hazards flashing on my Autopilot 1.0 car. And then we'll walk over to David's. And here you can kind of see how they flash on that. So a little bit more subtle, but definitely functional nonetheless. Okay, so and the other change that has been recently noted is the brakes on the rear have changed. So on mine, I actually have two calipers here so you can see it a little easier on mine just because I have the T sport line rims which are a lot like the 21 inch turbine so they show a little bit more of it but you can see here I have the big caliper here and I also have a little one right up in here and that one's actually got the Tesla logo on it whereas on the new ones let's adjust that a little bit you only have the single and it's actually, you can see it has changed. So they have changed it and updated it somewhat. It does kind of leave a lot of the brake open, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, some people might like it, some people might hate it, but brakes have changed on the new ones. Heard it was a change in piston numbers, but I honestly know nothing about brakes. So 
I guess if you know leave a comment down below and that way I can now know but they have changed them and the other changes that have been noted but you can't really tell are these little ultrasonic sensors here have been updated in the new 2.0 cars versus the 1.0 cars however there's really no way to tell at the moment until they actually enable the functionality in which case then we can test it and see what kind of distance they recognize objects at but they look exactly the same profile I don't really see a size difference or any of that so it's hard, hard to tell on that one and then let's go ahead and go inside so he got gray seats just like I did and the carbon fiber decor just like I did so they have a couple new decor options um, but in the rear I guess the other big change on his is he now has cup holders and USB outlets which is kind of nice USB outlets I'm a little jealous for cup holders I don't really have rear passengers much and I don't know I really want them having drinks in my car but if you have kids or something it'd definitely be kind of nice I can see that but it's very tight like my legs are all the way back against the seat he's kind of looking down there's not a whole lot of room I suppose you could do this in a pinch I can easily see them being uh, nice to have that's for sure Besides that though, it does take up a little bit extra here because see my, let me, yeah, there you go. My console ends here and you can kind of see, let me light it up a little bit. Kind of see like it goes and takes up a bunch of room back here. I mean, it kind of tapers towards the bottom, but it does feel like it takes up about an inch or so extra and then it drops down here. So that will affect leg room a little bit. Not too much. I don't think it's really going to be noticeable for most people. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Check out all those fingerprints. Damn. Someone's been having fun in their Tesla. Playing around with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at my car and you can kind of see a little bit of the size difference for the rear cup holder area. Oh, it's like they're holding hands. I don't want them to touch though. Okay. So you can kind of see right there. I just don't have that drop down spot. So there's a little extra room. Someone was in my car with muddy feet. That's why I bought the all weather floor mats. And somebody likes to buckle my seats. In my Model S, you can see here where the rear seat belt comes from is not wrapped in any kinds of trim or anything. Oh, that looks really bright. There we go. So you can see it's just all like coming just straight through the molded plastic right here. No trim piece there or anything. Now, if we jump over to David's, there we go. So if we jump over here, you can see now they have wrapped it in a little piece of, I want to call it chrome because it's still plastic, but it's like silver painted plastic. Just kind of highlights it right there. It's kind of nice. So that's just another minor change they have made. And they're continually adding and taking care of things. So it looks really nice right there though. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's go ahead and actually start in mine. And jump in here. Okay, so you can see up here, ugh, it's so bright outside, this is going to be tricky. There we go. Okay, I have to turn this up on my brightness, but hopefully you can still see it well. You can see like this right here, how it kind of circles around and attaches in here. And that's actually where I ran the wires for my Blackview 360 up through here. And then I wired them into a spot. There's a... Uh, power hookup under your mic grill so that's where I installed my power hookup and then I ran the other one all the way to the back but this whole unit right here is now changed for the autopilot 2 sensors just because they're a lot bigger so let's go ahead and now jump over into that one all 
Okay, so here you can see, same angle and everything, it has totally changed. This is now one big wide unit. Uh, it's kind of like a plastic, like a TPU, it's like a soft touch plastic, it's not bad. Um, and then right here, I don't think I'm going to attempt to take this off to install the Blackview 360s. So I'll probably tap in here still, and then up, go up under this and then have the wire pop out here. Come down and maybe put the black view like right here or something like that. We'll have to see. But um, that has definitely changed. It's kind of just one more solid unit, if you will. But it's definitely a noticeable change. And see there. I'll kind of put a screenshot of the other one just so you can kind of see them side by side. So one difference right now is on David's car, right here is for your headlights now. In my car, I actually have the lock button right here, but they removed the lock button from this screen so you can toggle your headlights on and off because they are not automatic yet. They haven't pushed that update yet. So, and they're still waiting to work through all their software. But in the meantime, you can toggle it there you need to do your lock you can just go under your controls and lock it right there shouldn't be a problem so I think that's basically it for changes between the two there really has not been any changes to these front compartments at all no changes to the glove compartment or on the dash over here currently um, when you're driving it just shows the car it doesn't show any traffic or anything just because they haven't rolled out any of the 2.0 updates to enable any of that hopefully in the future they do but besides that it's basically the same car a few changes they have now made though is gray seats are no longer available david was able to get them because he ordered back in like april and just delayed delivery until now um but now all the seats on the 90s are perforated they have them in white black or tan um Currently, if you want gray, you only ha can get a 60 or 75, and I bet those are going to be disappearing as soon as supply runs out, and they're just going to be switching all to white. Changes are relatively minor, uh, except for the cameras, obviously, and the 2.0 hardware. There is a supercomputer in here somewhere. Uh, not sure where it is. I think it's behind the MCU here, but not entirely sure and I'm not gonna tear it apart to find out. So if you have any questions about the car or any of the hardware, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer. Might even do another follow-up video if I see there's a couple things I missed or a couple questions people have that would be better answered in a video. So definitely let me know. If you like the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.